Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the PC crisis and can you survive it and what kind of alternatives you can look into in order to get past this time of grief and doubt. Now, who knows what normal prices are anymore because, you know, prices always fluctuate in the PC market and uh, more so than I've seen in a lot of other places or a lot of different kinds of markets. But with that being said, obviously right now, it's not the right kind of market. Now, if you're looking for a GPU, let's talk about the GPU crisis first. There are a couple of alternatives in the meantime to get you through. Now, if you just need something for basic gaming right now, let's say you have your entire rig assembled, but you're looking for something just to get you by with a, with a little bit of gaming, some 1080p gaming, and I know GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti's are still sort of hard to come by, um, depending on what time of day you look, and if you have auto notifications on Newegg and stuff like that, it can be a little bit tough to find, but you can find the equivalent performance out of a GTX 770. Now, there's two variants there's a two gigabyte and a four gigabyte model both of which perform very well of course if you want a little bit more performance out of it you're going to get the four gigabyte model and be able to play a couple more games that are more uh they're more memory intensive they require more ram um so like games like forza horizon 3 uh you cannot get by with two gigabytes of ram now i have some benchmarks from a couple months ago that i was playing a couple games now i don't have any PUBG benchmarks or anything like that unfortunately i do have a gtx 770 to test but unfortunately while testing my gtx 770 i killed it yeah i killed it but that's for a video later on and that story will be very sad to tell <laughs> but moreover uh it, it's not the most recent of games but you can see fairly popular and still relatively recent games still play pretty well like battlefield one uh you can play titanfall 2 on that uh gpu no problem um well optimized games you can get by with 1080p with high to very high settings for a lot of games um mostly within the one to three year old range. Anything older than that, it can do pretty well, of course. You know, there's still demanding titles like Metro and Crisis and stuff like that that still offers it quite a bit of a challenge. But for 1080p gaming, it can cover a wide spectrum of games and play it relatively well at fairly decent settings, in my opinion. Uh, that's what I originally did with my first PC build. I used a GTX 770. At the time, there was GTX 970s in the whole 9 series. Uh, cards were out from NVIDIA. And I was just going to wait till uh, the 10 series cards. And I did. And I was very happy with that because I, I picked up a GTX 1070 um, around the time in November, which is still like five months after the 10 series came out. But still, I waited because... I didn't really want a 970, I didn't really want a 980, and I just waited a little bit and got myself a better deal for the money anyways that was just coming out in a few months later. So you can kind of see yourself in the same position that I was in when I was uh, deciding to get my first GPU. I went with the GTX 770. So I'm going to pass off that sort of tradition to something that you guys should get because those cards are still very, very good in my opinion. I mean, you can 780s and 780 Ti's. And you can also get some 9 series cards for relatively decent money on eBay. Uh, not my first recommendation though. I would go with the 7 series cards first because you can still find them for relatively cheap like a GTX 770 for around $80 to $120 depending on if it's a 2 gigabyte or 4 gigabyte model. So that is a very, very good alternative and I would highly recommend doing that before you do anything else. Now let's say you only have a couple parts together or you don't even have a PC build assembled or even picked out yet and don't worry about it just just wait i mean you have new ryzen cpus coming out you have new intel processors coming out later on in the year um you have a whole bunch of options that are going to be opening up later this year and it really just wouldn't be worth it to try and spend a little bit more money for the performance you can get for now versus the type of performance you can get later on for probably less money. But if you are specifically looking for a card and you do not want to spend the extra money on a GTX 770 or something of the like in the meantime, there is a website called nowinstock.net 
and which you can get notifications for. I'm pretty sure you can set an alarm on it. You kind of just have to keep checking throughout the day. So basically what it is, you go into now on stock.net, you can check AMD cards and Nvidia cards. And basically you check for a certain series of cards and check out what specific card that you're looking for. And it will go through all the different retailers to see if there are any in stock and available. And it will tell you the price that the retailer is selling it for. This is an incredibly useful tool, um, but it is also very discouraging at the time because usually when you're looking at it, everything is just out of stock. There's not one green tab except for the used market eBay tab that's the only one that's ever green and says that there's stock available so it can be a little disheartening at times but it can potentially lead you to an open doorway to help you get through and potentially buy a GPU while no one else is looking so there is that potential as well but I mean everyone's at the same playing field because you have to continually keep on checking in and seeing if something is in stock. So that is an alternative right there. And then there's the last option, which is the used market, which kind of ties into the GTX 770. You know, there's a whole entire used market of GPUs, processors, RAM, and so on and so forth. And if you really need RAM and you really need a computer, go with the DDR3 platform. I would highly recommend it. It's still a solid platform. If you can get uh, fourth gen Intel, third gen Intel, or even second gen Intel, they still gain pretty well for what they can offer. And yes, DDR3 RAM has gone up in price, but is not nearly as expensive as DDR4 RAM in most scenarios. I would highly recommend going back onto the DDR3 platform, potentially going with the AM3 uh, boards if you want to do that as well, if you want to save even more money although not get the highest tier performance out of your processor. Other than that, I would highly recommend that platform because you can save a lot of money in different areas like the motherboard, like the processor, like the RAM, and you can still get an SSD and a hard drive for relatively good money. There's always sales going on on those sorts of things. And the only thing you really have to worry about is the GPU. And like I said, go use market with that as well. And you got yourself a fairly decent gaming machine. Even if you have a 780 or 780 Ti or a 770 with a 4790K or something like that, you are going to be sitting pretty, trust me. So yeah, I hope that helps you out. If you are in any sort of situation like that, if you're in any of those situations, I hope the advice that I just gave you can help you. Now, if you wanna see more videos like this one or need more future tips and stuff like that, let me know. I'm always here to help. I want to thank you guys for watching. Consider checking out the rest of the channel, subscribing if you're new here, and I will catch you in the next one.